I want to share a pro tip that I came across a few months ago that I thought was really interesting. And it's about centering text across multiple cells, but not in the way that you might normally do it. Um, so generally speaking, most users, when you want to center text across multiple cells, will start by merging those cells and then aligning the text to the center of that merged cell. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's totally fine. It gets the job done. The only downside is that occasionally that can cause some issues and headaches if you do need to modify other cells in that worksheet. So an alternative approach here is instead of merging, you can do something like this, where you have your text in one cell. In this case, it's cell D2. And you can select the cell range that you would have normally merged. But instead of actually merging, go ahead and use the Control-1 shortcut or navigate to the Format Cells dialog box. And right there in the second tab, the Alignment tab, you'll see some horizontal options. And one of those options is Center Across Selection. Now, when you click that option, what you're going to see is the exact same effect as merging and centering without actually merging the underlying cells. So you end up with the same outcome with more flexibility. Now you can edit all of those cells individually like you normally would. So really nice, helpful tip for doing things like formatting your text headers within reports and dashboards where you need to edit other cells within the sheet or customizing your alignment in cases where maybe for whatever reason you can't use merged cells. So let's jump over to Excel. I'm going to show you one quick example of how this could be used. All right, so head to your table of contents, look for the center across selection demo, go ahead and press link to jump to the tab. And here we've got a basic performance dashboard. Um, what we're paying attention to are the header cells, right? We've got this main header here, as well as subheaders for different metric or column categories, traffic and leads. And finally, another header here uh, to kind of indicate our segment breakdown portion of the report. And as I'm selecting these cells, you may notice that these are in fact merged cells. And the problem with these merged cells is that they look nice, but if I wanted to, let's say, rearrange the order of some of these columns, like swap cost per click and click rate, for instance, I would right click column H, click cut, and I get an error that says we can't do that to a merged cell. Same story if I wanted to clear some of the contents of these cells. Right click, clear contents, same error. And it's because of these merged cells that we're getting those errors. So let's go ahead and try to use that formatting tip, that center across selection option, to accomplish this same visual result while allowing all of the cells in our dashboard to remain editable. So to do that, all we're going to do is navigate to our home tab with this merge cell selected. We're just going to unclick merge and center. That's going to move the text to the leftmost cell. Right now it's D2. And then do the same thing for the other three headers here. You can either check the button or use F4 to repeat the last action. And there we go. And now to accomplish that center across selection effect, we're going to select that same range of cells that we would have selected to merge them and either right click or use Control 1 to launch the format cells dialog box. We're gonna jump into the second tab, alignment. And right here in the horizontal options, down near the bottom, you're gonna see center across selection. Press okay. And note how that text still lives in cell D2, but now it's displayed centered across the selected cells, which is exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm gonna select the traffic options. Here's a great way to use that F4 shortcut. I don't even have to go back to my format cells dialog box. I can repeat that same action that I just did for the other three headers. And there you have it. So now if I wanted to swap the order of these two columns, right click, cut, insert cut, and we're good. Same thing, I can clear contents if I want. I can edit each of these cells individually. So there you have it. Nice little tip, centering text across a selection of cells.